You need to know about these fall fashion trends because they're literally breaking the internet. Hi, I'm Leonie and welcome to my channel. Now, whether you're a fan of TikTok or Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, whatever it may be, it's fair to say that social media is having a big part to play in driving fashion trends. And today I'm sharing 10 of those trends that have really taken social media by storm. And the best part is you can get your hands on them right now. So I'm sure there's gonna be one or two that you will love. So let's jump into it. Now, first up, and this one is super exciting to me because it's an easy one to even DIY, and that's the return of bag charms. So adorning your bag, your purse, your tote, whatever it may be, with a whole lot of fab, colourful and fun charms. Now I'm going to try and find some video or pictures here so that I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. But I think this is a really fun way to add a little bit of personality to your purse. And as I said, it's a really easy trend to DIY. In fact, I saw one of my favourites here on YouTube, the lovely Karen Britchick, adorning one of her own handbags with some chains and necklaces. And I think she even had some keychains and I'll try and find that video and show it to you here but it's a really easy one to DIY just to see if you kind of like the look and note I was in Hobby Lobby the other day here in DC and they have some amazing beaded or strings of beads there that you can buy that are really cheap I think they even had a 50% off on the day that I was there so this is a it's a fun way to add a little bit of personality to your handbag and it's an easy way to do it so have a little rummage around at home and see if you've got some bits and pieces that you may be able to add to your favorite purse or handbag and just give it a little bit of a a fun edge. Now this next one is possibly the most unlikely trend that I didn't even see coming for fall this year and that's the return of wearing sports jerseys. So whether they're football jerseys or baseball, you name it, it's wearing these jerseys back with more feminine pieces, whether they're sheer skirts, lace skirts, more full skirts teamed also back with trainers. Now, I wanted to get on board this trend, so I went thrifting the other day. I'm gonna show you here what I came up with. I love this look. I think it's really relaxed. It's very easy to wear. It's, I don't know, I just really like it. Let me know what you think in the comments. But it's definitely a look that I have been seeing all over my feed for quite some time now, and that's why I thought it's high time that I jump on this trend and give it a go. So far, so good. I'm really enjoying it. Now, this season is all about statement purses and bags, and I think it's almost in response to a lot of the sort of quiet luxury trends that we've seen over the last couple of years. But in saying that, there is a trend for beautiful, slightly oversized brown leather totes and kind of duffel style bags. It's almost like the it girls on social media all seem to be kind of carrying these bags and just looking very cool in the process. I've even seen a number of them adorned with bag charms. So that's another way to add a little bit of personality to a bag that's a kind of a, a timeless classic piece. Oh, and speaking of bags, I'd like to say a very big thank you to the sponsor of today's episode, and that is Songmont. Take a look at these new bags that I've just grabbed from Songmont and also hold up because I have a discount code to share with you. So don't go fast forwarding through this one. Check this out. Now, first up, I picked up this beautiful red little purse. Now, I absolutely fell in love with the color. It's not such a bright red. It's not too orangey. It's just sort of the perfect bluey red. And I love the fact that it can be worn like this, just as a little handheld purse, which is such a vibe at the moment. But it also comes with a strap and you can wear it crossbody or just as a standard over the shoulder little purse. Now, this is one of the great things about the Songmont bags. Not only are they gorgeous quality, the leather is just so beautiful. I especially love this sort of pebbled leather effect, but they also generally can be worn in different ways. As you can see, there's quite a bit of room in here and it has these little magnetic closures, which instantly click together close the bag which gives you that sort of security as well so perfect for when you're carrying it cross body now this is the other cutie that i picked up and 
It's really tricky when you go on the Songmont website because there are so many options and different sizes for each different style. So it does get quite tricky to choose, but I wanted a bag that I could pretty much just use every day. So I didn't want it to be too big. I didn't want it to be too small. And I wanted that versatility where I could also wear it cross body or as a shoulder bag or just hold it in my hand, which is what's kind of, as I said earlier, happening at the moment. This one's just like a mini kind of satchel which I absolutely love. It's got this beautiful clasp detail here which is really easy to open and close. It just snaps in beautifully which is always really satisfying. The leather's fine, it's just beautiful quality and a really cool everyday neutral purse. Now one of the other exciting things that I picked up this time too were, let me see, oh I've got them here, some cute little bag charms. So Songmont do the most adorable bag charms, I think, on the planet. So I picked up these two little ones here, which I'm going to perhaps attach to this bag. I'm not sure. I kind of love the idea of giving this bag a little bit of a bling and just giving it a little bit of a moment. But I also picked up this one, which I particularly love as well. So they do do some amazing little bag charms and as I just mentioned, bag charms is definitely where it is at at the moment. But Songmont do some amazing, beautiful quality bags. So if you are in the market for them, I can absolutely recommend the quality and the versatility of these beautiful bags. Oh, and one of the other great things about this bag is that it can be made a little bit bigger and extended. So all you do is use these little clips here to sort of press it. We call them domes here in New Zealand. I'm not sure what you guys call them in the US. Let me know in the comments, actually. But these little domes, you can click them in and out to either give your bag a little bit more space or give you a little bit more space. Or you can clip them together like that just to streamline the purse a little bit more. And oh, it, yeah, it's also got this cute little compartment at the back here just to sort of slide your phone in or your keys or something but again it's just the versatility of these bags this leather is just so beautiful and soft as well my discount code is leone12 and that will save you 12 percent off anything on the songmont website all the details are linked below Another trend that I'm also here for, and I keep seeing it showing up on my feed, is wasabi green. Now we all know that the color for the season is more of a sort of a burgundy, warm, Merlot style red. But this wasabi green has been popping up as well, and I'm definitely here for it. Now the good news is about this color is that it works back perfectly with the Merlot burgundy reds. The two are a really lovely pairing, and of course, Anything in this sort of wasabi green works back well with denim, with white. There are so many different ways to wear it and it's just a, it's a unique colour that I haven't seen a lot of in the last few years. So I think it's fun, it's a way of adding a little bit of something quirky to an outfit. And when I was out thrifting recently, I did see quite a few wasabi green pieces. So if you're not so sure about this trend, definitely think about thrifting some pieces in wasabi green. The other trend that I'm very much here for is the return of full voluminous skirts. Now there's something that's just very elegant and feminine and pretty and also really easy to wear about them. I also think this type of skirt is a really easy way to sort of level up your look and give some of your outfits a little bit more of a dressier look and feel without sacrificing any comfort. On social media they're definitely being teamed back with tailored vests and also some of the sports jerseys that I just talked about and oversized tees and blazers. There are lots of ways to wear them and I think that they're a perfect piece for fall. And that leads in really nicely to the next trend and that is sheer skirts. Now I touched on this earlier when I mentioned that I'd thrifted a lace skirt recently and how I was wearing that back with my sports jerseys. But the sheer skirts and in particular lace skirts are a trend that I was probably a little bit on the fence about initially but it's picked up momentum and I've also jumped on board. I think that this is a far more versatile trend than what I first thought and certainly as I've seen it being worn it's very feminine and very fun and teamed back with something like trainers or 
uh, maybe some denim or blazers as a way of sort of toughening it up a little bit. So it's, I suppose, these lace skirts are being worn in a, I suppose, an unexpected way. And I did touch on this in a recent video, but men's ties are very much happening at the moment as well. Now, not in a kind of a masculine, oversized suiting kind of way, but more in a sort of mini skirt, pointed toe, kind of really feminine chic way. I also saw plenty of men's ties when I was thrifting recently. So again, this is a trend that you can dip your toe in really cost effectively. You can grab one from a significant man in your life, boyfriend, father, grandfather, and try out this trend for yourself. The ties are also being worn more loosely. So not quite so buttoned up at the neck. So a little bit more loosely, but you can kind of do with this trend what you what you will. I think the key to getting it right is the juxtaposition of the, your outfit. So essentially, if you are wearing a tie, then maybe your bottom half can be denim or a little bit more relaxed, like some baggy cargo pants. It's that sort of unexpected pairing that really creates the beauty in a look like this. That leads in really nicely to the next trend and this one is going to divide you. I'm sure that there will be plenty of you that will probably love this trend and plenty of you that will be a hard no on it and that's the return of stirrup pants. Now you know the ones, they're basically like stretchy leggings, yoga pants but they have that stirrupy bit that fits under the sole of your foot. Now, we saw Hailey Bieber wearing stirrup pants with, I think it might have even been the end of last year. She was wearing a pair of stirrup pants back with an oversized blazer. And this look seems to have caught on and I'm definitely seeing more and more of it. So it's almost like a real 80s revival. So expect to see stirrup pants back on the horizon. And let me know in the comments below, is this a trend that you could see yourself getting into and wearing? Or again, is this one just too reminiscent of days gone by for you? Let me know in the comments below. I'm on the fence. I'm not sure whether I'm a yes or a no to this one. So let's chat in the comments. And speaking of pants, and I did touch on this earlier, baggy cargos are definitely not going anywhere either. Now, I'm pretty excited about that. I invested in a couple of pairs. I love the relaxed vibe of them and that kind of really easy style of dressing. Just team back with a retro tee and some sneakers or dressed up with more of a fitted kind of top or long sleeve tee. But baggy cargos, I thought had kind of seen day, their days and I thought that they were moving on out but they almost have had a sort of a resurgence and they're back and as popular as ever. I had started to see cargoes that were becoming sort of quite tapered and more narrower in the leg, but lately they seem to be wide and baggy and oversized again. So I, for one, am very happy about that. It's a look that I really enjoy. Next up, there are denim dresses everywhere. Now, we've seen lots of denim over the last couple of years, and certainly double denim is very much a happening look, and denim dresses are, are here and back. And what I have noticed in a lot of these dresses is that they are a deep, dark indigo denim as well. So not so much the lighter wash or the sort of distress they're very dark indigo denim and there's lots of dresses around and I think that these pieces end up being super versatile they'll go with any color or any accessory that you own and also they're fairly timeless pieces that you can hold on to for years it's been quite a while since I've seen this type of denim dress around and I think there's just going to be plenty of options and it's a trend that is worth considering. And this one is almost a little bit of a micro trend, but while I've been in the States here, I have most definitely seen a real return to stacked bracelets. And you know, back in the day, I it was probably 10 plus years ago where we all were wearing arm parties and stacking up our bracelets. Well, that seems to be happening again. And there's a real 
kind of mixed metal thing happening and beaded bracelets and it's almost like just throw it all on and make a little bit of a statement with our bracelets. And it's, I think this is fun. I've kind of got into this. I got this cute little bracelet from Walmart. I'll link it below in case you want to check it out. Super cheap and just a little bit of fun to add some bling to some of my relaxed outfits. So arm parties are definitely having a moment and I kind of like the idea of being able to wear a lot of the pieces that we own rather than having them sitting in our drawers and not being worn. And again this is a trend that sort of in response to a lot of the quiet luxury that we've seen over the last few years. It's almost a bit more of a maximalist, more is more approach. And when it comes to jewelry and in particular bracelets, I'm definitely here for it. Anyway, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, I'd love you to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to take advantage of that Songmont discount. I will leave the links in the description box below and a few more details. But thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.